Hey guys and welcome to the Bayern View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, this is going to be the uh, Augsburg versus Bayern Munich preview. Um, very, very interesting um, to see if Bayern Munich will go into this international break with a win. Uh, if you're going to enjoy though, as always, please do smash that thumbs up button. Uh, hit that big red subscribe button down below. Thank you for the constant support on the channel. You guys are generally the best. Um, yeah, no no words, to be perfectly honest with you, other than that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we're going um, Augsburg tomorrow. We've got Augsburg at home, to, um, away tomorrow at their home ground. Uh, and, you know, they're going to be up for it. You know, they, they're, they're, they're an okay team. You know what I mean? You can't... You can't really shit on them, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, they're sitting in they're sitting in at 13th, you know, with uh, two wins, four draws. Uh, four losses, sorry. Others, they'd be doing brilliant. Um, two wins, four losses, sorry. I said draws, I don't mean to say draws. Uh, and Bayern Munich, obviously, with three um, wins, three draws. Seeing in that third. Um, you know, we've still got a bit of catching up to do, but Udo Berlin and uh, Freiburg, Hoffenheim behind us, as well as Dortmund uh, and Mainz. But, you know, it, this is what we want to see, you know. As Bayern fans, do we want to be in this position where we're not first? Of course not. But at the same damn time, you know, if if, if the clubs are going to push us, you know, it's going to make it more in, 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 an entertaining league. Um, so, yeah, with that said, thank you for the course of support. Smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, but let's get into this preview. Um, so, like I said, Augsburg tomorrow, uh, Augsburg versus Bayern Munich. They're, they're, you know, very compact. They're going to be compact. They're going to hit with them long ball, shoot from distance, um, you know, and we got to be ready for that. Now, the only thing, um, sorry for shaking the camera, switching hands. The only thing for me that um, needs to change realistically, uh, other than players, is we need to start, you know, the chances we um, recreate, we've got to score. Now, I'm not asking to score every single chance, but when we go against these teams that will sit back because they don't have the fire and power of a Bayern Munich, they don't have the fire and power of of some of these lower league teams in the Premier League, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, obviously it's not the Premier League, it's the Bundesliga, I know, but in general, you know what I mean? Like, they are going to sit back. They don't have the firepower. They can't go one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know what I mean? 11 versus 11, you know, because if they were, they'd get destroyed because, you know, Bayern Munich had the best players and there's nothing wrong with saying that. It's just... That's fact. But, um, you know, these teams before have beaten us and we've got to, got to make sure that don't happen because, you know, that will be even crappier to go into the, the uh, thingy. But either way, um, lineup wise for me, Mama Noya gets a start tomorrow. Um, I thought he was brilliant um, against Barcelona. Um, the thing is, I, I would say play all right in there, but I don't think we need to. To be perfectly honest with you, and obviously Noy has got uh, international duties as well, so he probably could do still with those minutes. You know what I mean? So Noy and goal for me, uh, right back Mazzari. Uh, I know that Pavard's okay now, and that's absolutely brilliant. But uh, even Julian Nagelsmann, the manager, has said that he will start, uh, and he, he, no matter if Julian said it or not, he deserves to start. That performance against Barcelona, defensively and offensively, was brilliant. Um, you know, can't can't fault him. I really can't. So he plays for me. Uh, and then the centre backs are probably are going to be Uppermancano and um, De Lit. That's probably who it's going to be. Obviously, uh, Hernandez is out, Kingsley Commons out, and so is Bonasar. So those three players are out. So obviously, that means Hernandez won't, will not play and he won't play. Uh, and it's good. Good in a sense that he won't play to get that rest anyway, you know what I mean? Because he obviously he's injured. Um, you don't want to be playing a player that's injured, and obviously I'm not going to. So, yeah, why have I said that? But either way, uh, left back why um, we're going to go with probably Alfonso. I thought he would also was brilliant against Barcelona. The only thing for me with Alfonso is do do not do they drop him because he's been crap, because he hasn't been crap. Don't take that the wrong way. But, like, do we not play him and we play Stanisic because it's, you know, they're a lower team. I'm not too sure if we're going to be resting players. That's what I mean. Um, so I'm going to go with Alfonso Davies, but I'm, I wouldn't be against Stanisic starting. Um, you know, for the minutes that he's got, he's, he's looked really, really good today. Uh, to, this season, I don't even know what I'm on about. My apologies. Um, but yeah, uh, in front of them, I'm... Joshua Kinnick will start tomorrow. Julian's already said that, and he should start anyway. He's just, you know, unless he needs that rest, just keep playing him because he's, he really is that important to us. Um, so I'll go with Joshua Kinnick. Next to him, he hasn't picked that player. He said in the press conference, which if you haven't watched the video on the press conference reaction, go and check that video out. It's the one just before this one. Um, I'm not really too sure what to say because, um, you know, he said he hasn't picked that position. 
maybe it'll be Leon Goretzka, maybe it'll be Sabitzer. It'll probably be one of those two, but I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Ryan Grevenberch start for me personally. Um, you know, he hasn't got those minutes, but he has come to a Bayern Munich, and you know, at the end of the day, you know, we we are one of the best in Europe, let alone best in Germany. You know what I mean? So. Uh, that was always deemed to happen. But uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind giving Ryan Grattan back some, some game time. But it, it wouldn't surprise me if it was Sabitza or uh, Leon Goretzka either way. Um, then Thomas Muller on the um, right-hand side. Uh, I'd actually play Leroy Sane. I think Leroy Sane was brilliant on that right-hand side the other night. Uh, and I, I wouldn't switch that up. So I'd play him. On the left-hand side, I'd play um, Jamal Muziala. I don't think you've got to play Mane there. So Jamal Muziala or Nabry. Um, there, obviously, Kingsley's out, so he won't be starting. Uh, and then up top, probably will be Sadio Mane. Again, uh, I'm not a massive fan of it. Uh, I would rather us play a 4 triple 2 uh, and have um, Muller up there with him or play Serge up there with him. Um, you know, I, I, I really like that. I don't know if Julian doesn't like that or what, but that, that's personally what I would do. But uh, yeah, either way, um, that is it for the lineup. Uh, that is my lineup. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Should we play somebody else that I haven't said? Let me know. Um, you know, of course, Matthias Tell could definitely come in, but I don't think you're going to drop a Sadio Mane. So that's the only thing. But yeah, Tal, Tal is definitely a player actually that could come in against Augsburg 110%. Um, Score-wise though, um, so Augsburg, like I said, are sitting in at 13 uh, and have scored 10 goals. They've scored four, um, but they have conceded uh, 10. Uh, obviously gives them a minus six um Minus six on the thingy. They did recently get a win though, so they're going to be coming in, you know, positive with their win. And you know, of course, Bayern Munich got the win in the Champions League, but in the Bundesliga, we've drawn three times now, so uh, it is what it is. And we've got to push forward uh, with that. Um, so you know, we'll have to wait and see. Um, score wise, but for me, they they can concede a lot of goals. We can definitely smash them. One hundred and ten percent. I have no no doubt about it that Bayern Munich will smash them tomorrow. Uh, I think I think we will. Um, so I'm going to go with Bayern Munich to win three one. Um, I know it's probably going to be crappy for Neuer, but I think three one will be the score. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. That is it for the preview. That's my lineup. That's my score prediction. You can let me know yours in the comment section down below if you would like to. Uh, if you have enjoyed though, please do smash the thumbs up. Hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you for the constant support on the channel. Uh, and until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Mia Samia. Peace out.